Hi guys, welcome to this practice. My name is Ryan, this is Sasha. We have a Keep It Mallow practice. Um, so let's get started. We'll start in the comfortable seat. So go ahead and close down your eyes if it feels okay. And take the first moment just to settle in. So let, you know, let the dust settle. Almost as though you're acknowledging starting. And then notice the sitting posture. Take a moment just to check out how you've aligned the bones and Notice if you could sit in a way that feels spacious and open. So perhaps the spine is a little longer, the, the chest is a little broader. And in doing so, notice how the body gently awakens, the sense of opening and awakening. And then stay with the body, it's a little more subtle, but notice breathing, can you feel the body breathing? And go for the feeling, so notice where are you feeling breath right now. And as the breath is, you know, if it's not forced and it's not controlled, notice how it's really gentle, there's a, there's a gentleness to the breath. And we'll use the practice, you know, if we practice the asana with the same approach this gentle quality to the shapes to the movement not forced so with that as the intention please bring the hands together at the heart to touch and let's take a, a full breath in fill up the belly and fill up the chest open the mouth and breathe out And as you're ready, just allow the head to fall towards the chest. Feel the back of the neck stretch. Blink the eyes open. We'll start here with the stretch. So please reach the hands to the sky. Feel length on the inhale, side body. We'll take the hands wide on the exhale. And the fingers are going to come down lightly to tent onto the ground. Nice. And then we'll do that two more times. So reach up tall on the inhale. Really stretch side body long. And then hands come down on the exhale. At the bottom of the exhale, fingers touch. Last one from the seat, reach up and lengthen. And gently lower and relax through the face, the jaw. This time it's just the right arm, reach up and go over on the inhale. And then stay on the exhale and notice the right sit bone. See if you can press the right sit bone down and lift up out of the seat. Feel free to kind of move a little here. So wobble through, you know, the shape. If you shift a little forward, notice the side back body or roll a little back, notice the side front body. Just awakening through the body here. So we'll take one more full breath in. Stay and stretch on the breath out. And then reach the right arm forward towards the front of the room. Take the right hand over, we'll reach the left arm, go up and over. So feel the left side and kind of land on the breath out. So anchor into the left sit bone and then customize. So, you know, get curious about the shape. You know, what are you feeling here as you move? In little pockets of the body that you might not have explored yet today. How's the body responding? So we'll take one more full breath in. Stay and stretch on the breath out. And then circle the left hand forward and around. Both hands behind the body, come onto the finger pads. Press into the fingers and lift up through the chest. So feel the collarbones broaden and the chest open. Now if it feels nice, you might drop the gaze back here or you could kind of bend one elbow and the opposite. And then as you're ready to release that, we're gonna meet in tabletop shapes. So go ahead and arrive there. Hands under shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Just a gentle rock forward and back, please. So just start with this gentle movement through the wrist. And even though this is a, a keep it mellow practice, notice, you know, we'll just open the wrist a little in a way that, you know, we're just using the subtle quality of asana to be mindful as we practice. You know, what are you feeling in the wrist here as you move? Notice something. And then stay on the hands and the knees, flip the left palm to face up. The thumb faces the middle of the mat, fingers face the knees, and that rock forward and back. 
you might feel this one a little more but notice don't go for the you know the, the greatest sensations just see if you can keep that gentleness to the practice sometimes we can you know easy to get carried away in the sense that we need more or greater it's kind of gentle gentle to start nice and then you lift the left hand make a fist create a few circles place the left hand down and same with the right hand flip it up thumb faces the middle fingers face the knees rock it gently forward and back feel the right wrist And then once again, as you're ready, you could stay a little longer or lift the right hand, create a fist, make a few circles, place the right hand down and we'll take the cow pose. So stretch the chest forward on the inhale. We'll go to the cat pose, press the ground away, lift the belly towards the spine, dome through the back, exhale. Let's keep going, we'll add on a little from the balls of the feet. So tuck the toes, cow pose, feel the toes stretch, chest forward. And then tops of the feet, cat pose, press down and come up onto the fingers. So really stretch and open the back, lift the belly. Do that two more times. So balls of the feet and palms into the cow pose, breathe in. Tops of the feet, finger pads, take the stretch on the breath out, belly lift, empty out. Last one, breathe in. And take the stretch, breathe out. So we'll take one more cow pose on the inhale from the palms and the balls of the feet, breathe in. And head on back to down dog and breathe out. And just as you get to downward facing dog, kind of wobble a little. So pedal the heels and you know wobble through the hips. If it feels like you want to you know, move more in today's practice, please invite yourself to, you know, trust what you're feeling really is the, is the, is the key here. Nice. And as you move again, just curious, you know, how's the body responding now? What, what are you feeling as you, yoga is a feeling in the, in the body. And this is the idea, you know, we drop from the thinking analytical mind down into the feeling and the felt quality of the body. And then slowly, gently come into a sense of stillness. So press the hands forwards and the hips back. Gently lift the belly towards the spine. Nice. And then together, let's lift up to the balls of the feet and take a breath in. And we'll soften the heels back down and breathe out. Nice. So a couple more. We're going to add on a little balls of the feet on the inhale. Now listen up. We're going to bend the knees, send the hips to the heels, belly to the thighs, get low on the exhale. Straighten the legs and breathe in. And then soften the heels toward the earth. They might not touch, just toward. One more just like that. Breathe in. Bend the knees, go back and breathe out. Nice, lengthen the legs and inhale, and then soften the heels toward the earth, exhale. This time, balls of the feet, tippy toe, top of the mat. So make your way up gently towards the front of the mat. Once you get there, please take a halfway lift to stretch the chest forward and feel the shoulders roll back, and then fold forward and breathe out. Let's do that two more times. So halfway lift, chest travels forward. You can place the hands on the shins, breathe in, and then bow forward and breathe out. Last one, movement to breath. Inhale and bow forward, face is soft, exhale. Press through the feet, let's come up to stand. So round up and roll up. Once you arrive, reach the arms to the sky. Keep the arms reaching, catch the right wrist with the left hand. So take a breath in and lengthen the pose. We'll take a side bend over to the left side, feel the right side. Now you could stay like this or you could take the ball of the right foot to the outside of your mat, press into the ball of the foot like it's a little kickstand, lengthen the body and then stretch up and over. And let's take one more full breath in and a full breath out. Step back through center and reach through center, take the inhale, right hand, left wrist, side bend to the right side, feel the left side. Nice, again stay like this or take it a little wider ball of the foot. Nice, let's take a full breath in and a full breath out. And then again, step and reach through center, take the inhale breath, bow forward over the legs. You can take the arms wide, flat back as you fall. Nice, we'll take a halfway lift, so chest travels forward to breathe in. We'll step the left foot to the back, lower the left knee to the earth and breathe out. Anjaniyasana pose, reach the arms to the sky. Just allow the shape to settle on the breath and I think it's really useful, you know, to start at the base 
Notice if you're, you know, just collapsing or hanging out in the joints. Notice that from the base, hug the back knee to front heel, front heel to back knee. So there's a little muscular energy in the legs to stay. Keep that, please. We'll take the hands, interlace them behind the back. Nice. And then as you find the bind, if the shoulders are a little more open, palms touch, otherwise palms apart. Stay here or start to slide the hands down the back of the left leg, lift from the chest. Notice there's a little lift of the belly towards the spine, almost like 3 out of 10. Now you could stay here or keep the legs engaged, you might lunge a little towards the right heel. Let's take one more breath in and one more breath out. And then slowly, gently release the hands to frame the right foot. Let's keep the left knee grounded, right hand to the sky, easy twist. And with the left knee grounded, notice it's a little more stable, almost like you could spin up and around yourself, twist. Feel free to roll the wrist a few times, maybe even circle the shoulder a couple of times, just set the body free to move. So we'll take one more full breath in, and then right hand to the ground, frame the right foot and breathe out. Lift the back knee and the chest on the inhale, Let's step back to down dog and exhale. Nice, lift onto the balls of the feet please, breathe in. Bend the knees, hips to heels on the breath out. So we're gonna switch it up a little, look for it and climb out plank pose to breathe in. Lower the knees down, come all the way to the belly and breathe out. So once you touch down on the belly, go ahead and walk the hands long and forward. And then keep the arms stretching long, just come up onto the fingertips. So it's almost like a striking cobra, but from the front. Elbows, forearms are lifted, press the tops of the feet down and slowly, gently lift up, striking cobra from the front, lift the chest and breathe in. And then slowly lower down and breathe out. Let's do that two more times. So lift up and inhale. And then lower and exhale. This time slide the hands beside the chest, press the fingertips down, striking cobra, come up a little higher to breathe in. Drop the right ear to the mat, right shoulder, and gaze left, breathe out. Well, there's a nice one for the inner shoulders. Back through center in. And left side, breathe out. And just come back up through center on the inhale. And then we'll come back onto the belly and the chest on the exhale. Hands beside the lowest ribs, tuck the toes. Tabletop shape, hands and knees. Then hips to the heels, straighten the legs and we're back in downward facing dog. Once you get there, top of the mat, we're gonna walk the feet to the hands, tippy toe. As you arrive, please take a halfway lift to breathe in chest forward and then fold on the breath out. Press through the feet, come up to stand. Knees are soft as you reach up tall and then hands to the heart on the breath out. Nice, so interlace the fingers please, press the palms forward and up on the inhale. Keep the legs strong, spin to the left side on the exhale. So see how far you can go around without forcing. Nice, back through center to breathe in. Legs stay strong, spin to the right on the breath out. Nice, back through center, find the length on the breath in. Bend the knees, wide arms, flat back and fold, breath out. Again, halfway lift to breathe in. This time, right foot steps, right knee softly to the ground. Reach up on the breath, Anjani Asana pose. And again, just let the, the shape settle. So use the first few moments just to you know, get into the feeling of the body. If you need to kind of shift and move and adjust, especially if you feel, you know, the body's always communicating. If you're a little wobbly here, or notice how you might feel steady. Keep the legs strong, we'll take the hands, interlace, once again behind the back, maybe opposite pinky on top. Nice. Stay here or slide the hands down the back of the right leg and feel like the chest is broadening. This is a nice one, you know, if you sit at a desk all day or you've been on the device all day, really broaden and open through the chest. You could stay here or you might lunge a little towards the left heel, notice legs are engaged. Take a full breath in, front body, and a full breath out. And then release the hands to frame the left foot. Right knee stays, left hand of the sky, easy twist. Keep the right knee grounded for stability. Notice when you're stable here, you can really start to open the spine, middle to upper back. Feel free to move a little, so wrist or maybe the shoulder if you, you know, if it feels better to move a little, please do that. It's dropping from the mind, the thinking mind into the feeling body. What are you feeling right now? Let's take one more inhale. And left hand to the earth on the exhale. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee and the chest on the breath in. 
We'll step to down dog and breathe out. So here's this little flow, balls of the feet to breathe in. We'll move to the breath, bend the knees, hips to heels, go back and breathe out. Look forward, plank pose on the inhale. Lower the knees down, come to the belly on the exhale. This time once you reach the belly, interlace the hands behind the back, tops of the feet pressed down. Now slowly, gently lift up Shalambhasana, lift the chest forward, shoulders and hands back. And then slowly, once again, lower down. So we're gonna do that two more times. Feel the strength in the back to come up. Breathe in. And breathe out. Last time, we'll stay lifted. Inhale. Nice. Hands beside the lowest ribs on the exhale. Cobra pose, lift the chest, shoulders go back. Breathe in. Tuck the toes, tabletop on the breath out. Hips go back to the heels. And then straighten the legs, downward facing dog. We're back. Balls of the feet, tippy toe, top of the mat. So you're gonna walk the feet to meet the hands. And it says you arrive there, please take a halfway lift. So chest forward and then fold, tension comes out. Press through the feet, gently come up, reach up tall on the inhale. Hands into the heart on the exhale. Let's take one last little standing round. And notice here, really, it's an opportunity could you hold yourself in these shapes with less effort? You know, could you do all of this with, with less effort? So from the feet, please reach to the sky. Take a full breath in. Wide arms, bend the knees, bow forward and breathe out. So we'll take the halfway lift to inhale. This time left foot steps lightly to the back. We'll keep the left knee lifted. Crescent lunge pose. So bend the left knee a lot, reach up to stand. So you soon notice how, you know, Definitely when the standing shape here might feel a little more wobbly so you could go wider with the foot or closer with the left Keep that action of muscular engagement in the legs so back foot to front front to back notice the legs are strong Feel the side body and just notice breath here so you can you open the the shape to meet breath broaden and open Nice. We'll take one more full breath in. We'll go to the arrowhead pose. Chest goes forward, arms reach back on the breath out. And like there's someone behind you pulling your arms back in space, notice the shoulders draw away from the ears. And then if the belly is kissing the right thigh, notice if you could gently lift the thigh, or the belly, sorry, away from the thigh. Nice. So we'll take one more full breath in. And a full breath out, back leg strong. Easy twist, left hand to the ground, right hand to the sky. So you could be on the left fingertips here or the left palm. Now notice how the back knee is lifted. Feel free to lower the back knee if it's your jam today, if it's not for you with it if lifted. If it's lifted, lift more from the inner left thigh. Let's take one more full breath in and a full breath out. Nice, reach the right hand a little higher on the inhale. We'll go to clear patcha on the exhale. So peel to the outer blades of the feet, let the Toes flex towards the shins. And as you reach the right hand back, notice you might have done this one before, just feel into the hips and notice if you could create space there. So you're not holding, in, in fact, open to release. Let's take a full breath in and a full breath out. Right hand sweeps up and over to frame the right foot on the inhale. And step a little shorter, we'll go to the pyramid pose on the exhale. So straighten the right leg and fold. Let's stay in the pyramid, the legs take a halfway lift, almost like a little up dog, breathe in. And then bow forward, pull the outer right, hip back, breathe out. One more just like that, inhale. And exhale. Rebend the right knee, plant the hands to breathe in. Let's go to down dog, step back and breathe out. Balls of the feet, breathe in. Hips to the heels on the breath out. Look forward, plank pose to inhale. Lower the knees down, come all the way to the belly and exhale. Nice, and then from here we'll come back into the striking cobra. This time, fingertips, elbows point. See if you can really get into the front body a little here. So as you press into the feet and the fingers lift up, striking cobra, chest lifts to breathe in. And then once again, lower back down and breathe out. So two more just like that, inhale and exhale last one really feel that sense of lift on the breath in and then gently lower and descend on the breath out 
Hands beside the lowest ribs, tuck the toes, tabletop shape, hips to heels, downward facing dog, straighten the legs and lengthen. Nice tippy toes, top of the mat. So you're gonna walk up for the final time to the top. Nice, as you rise, take a halfway lift, breathe in. Fold over the legs and breathe out. Press down to come up, so super long and stretch on the breath. And then hands into the heart on the breath out. Okay, last time here, so from the feet, please reach the arms to the sky, full breath in. Bend the knees, wide arms, bow forward and breathe out. Halfway lift, chest travels forward on the inhale. Step the right foot to the back and exhale. Crescent lunge, bend the back knee a lot and come up to stand. Nice. So notice, you know, with the back knee bent, there's a little more length in the lower spine, almost like you can lower the, lengthen the lower spine more. Feel that sense of lift up out of the hips. Legs are strong here. And then notice if you can relax something, you know, always somewhere to, to relax. Face is soft. Let's carry that forward here. We'll take one breath in. Face stays soft, arrowhead pose. Chest goes forward, arms reach back. Whatever's going back in space is strong. So arms are strong, fingers awake, back legs super strong. Okay, let's take a lengthening inhale and a full exhale. Easy twist, right fingers or right palm to the ground, left hand to the sky. Okay, so once again, you could lower the left knee down if you'd like to support the shape a little more. Nice. Notice that feeling of the back leg strong if it's lifted. We'll take one more full breath in. Stay and feel the spine twist on the breath out. Now here's a little change. One more inhale, reach the left finger. We'll go to clear patcha from the right palm, spin to the outer blades and reach back. Toes are awake here, full breath in. And a full breath out. And then left hand's gonna go up and over, frame the left foot on the breath in. Step it a little shorter and fold over the left leg to breathe out. And you stay with the legs, take a little halfway lift, almost like it's an up dog, go forward. And then we'll bow on the breath. Moving to breath, two more like that. Ripple forward, breathe in. Pull the outer left hip back and fold. Again, that gentle quality. What does that look like here? Last one, inhale. And exhale. Nice, re-bend the front knee, plant the hands, breathe in. Final time, down dog, step back and breathe out. Balls of the feet, breathe in. Hips travel back to the heels and breathe out. Plank is the inhale. Lower the knees and all the way to the belly on the exhale. Now, so interlace the hands behind the back. Tops of the feet, we'll do three rounds here. Shalambhasana, press down to lift up, chest forward, shoulders back. And then slowly, once again, gently lower down. Two more like that, a little squeeze in the back to come up, breathe in. Gently lower and breathe out. See if you can keep the breath here as a reference point, full breath. Last time we'll stay lifted, breathe in. Release the hands beside the lowest ribs and breathe out. Cobra pose, lift the chest, feel the shoulders go back. Tuck the toes, tabletop, straight to hips to heels on the breath out. Straighten the legs, back in downward facing dog for the final time. Pedal the heels and make any movements that feel appropriate here, so kind of wobble. And then, no rush, gently and slowly, we'll come back into tabletop shape, hands and knees pose. Keep the hands as they are, and we're gonna walk the knees up towards the wrist. So as you walk the knees towards the wrist, cross the ankles, and we'll sit behind the feet, stretch the legs forward and take a moment here. And you might like to kind of pedal the heels a little. Feel free to sort of lengthen or wobble through the, the, the spine. And then we'll take the square pose. So right chin will cross in front of the left, walk the fleshy bits back. Now if there's a double pigeon for you, if you'd like to go with that, left ankle, right ankle will sit on top of the left thigh. Notice how the toes flex back towards the shin and none of this is forced. Walk the fleshy bits back, take a breath in to lengthen. And then slowly, gently walk the hands forward and feel the hips open. A 
We'll stay here for five breaths each exhale. Notice if you could relax more, almost like you get a little closer to the ground each breath out. Then you could totally stay here a little longer or if you're ready to come up and you slowly gently walk the hands back towards the shins i'm going to take the hands behind the body fingers face the front of the room take the feet to the ground reverse tabletop so press down and lift up lift up through the hips lift up through the chest if it feels nice to kind of rock a little forward and back go ahead and just invite the shoulders to lightly open and then as you're ready we'll lower the pelvis down Stretch the right leg forward, Janu Sisras, and the left knee bends, and left foot will catch the inner right thigh. And so wobble the fleshy bits back a little as you reach to the sky, spin to face the right foot, and then bow over the right leg on the breath. And so a little activity through the right leg, so notice the toes are awake. And we'll move a little to the breath here, so each inhale, notice how the spine elongates, there's a sense of lengthening. And each exhale, notice there's a sense of relaxing and opening. Three breaths here. Nice and no rush here, but when you're ready to lift up and out, take your time. You just slowly, gently lift away from the ground. Take the left hand behind, press left hand and then left shin, right hand reaches up and over. So as you reach up, you could catch the back of the head with the right hand, feel free to open any movement here. Set the body again, free to move in a way that's, you know, let tension come out of the body. And then as you're ready, you'll slowly, gently lower back down. Nice, and then step the feet forward, take the hands beside the body, nice. Find that sense of length, keep that sense of length and we'll cross left shin in front of right, square pose. If you went to double pigeon, go ahead, left ankle on top of right. Nice, find that sit bone and then a little length in the spine to breathe in. Slowly, gently walk the hands forward and fold here, breath out. Three more breaths in the shape. What are you feeling here as you fold? Take your time, there's no rush. Stay a little longer. If you're ready to lift up, just gently, slowly, hands walk back towards the body. Step the feet forward, reverse tabletop, so hands and feet press, lift up through the hips and the chest. Option again, rock it a little forward and a little back. Option to take the gaze back behind you. And then as you're ready to lower down, we'll bring the pelvis back down, straighten the right le left leg forward, sorry, bend the right knee, catch the inner left thigh. Nice, and then reach the arms to the sky, square the shoulders, bow forward over the left leg. Five breaths here. You know, when it's gentle and it's not forced, notice how it becomes a beautiful opportunity to free the body of tension. Rather than create more tension, just to let tension come out of the body, face, jaw. Take your time with this, but as you're ready, slowly, gently on an inhale, you lift up. Nice, take the right hand behind you, press off the left foot and kick off the left foot to go back. And option again to bend the left hand, catch the back of the head, feel free to move a little. 
and then slowly we'll release the pelvis back to the earth reach the right foot to meet the left nice walk the fleshy bits back one final forward bend here as you reach the arms to the sky to breathe in bow forward over the legs and breathe out five breaths here and wherever you are you know if you feel stuck in the shape start there just see if you can relax in this pose We'll carry this relaxed, calm state onto the spine. So slowly and gently round down and roll down onto the spine. No rush. Once you come onto the spine, go ahead and just give the knees a little squeeze in towards the body. Now, so I'm going to ask you to take your favorite twist to the left side of the room. So you could wrap the right thigh over the left. Or let the left leg go long and take the right knee over to the left. Just shimmy the hips a little to the opposite side that the knees fall. Reach your arms out and feel the shoulders, the head and the neck relax. And almost as though the breath was massaging the twist, can you feel the body breathe three more times here? Just take your time. You could totally stay in this one a little longer if you're ready to come up slowly, gently on the inhale. Float the knees back through center, untangle the thighs, and recenter the hips if they've wrapped up. Nice, and then hug the knees once into the chest again, so almost like it's, like it's one pose. Nice, your favorite twist to the opposite side, so you'll perhaps wrap the legs or take the left leg across the body. Shimmy the hips a little to the opposite side in which the knees fall. And then practice the one percent practices. So if it was, you know, if you could relax one percent more, where might that be right now? There's three more breaths here in the shape. And then no rush, take your time. Come up on an inhale, but when you're ready to float back through center, untangle the thighs. If they're wrapped, recenter the hips. Give the knees a little squeeze in towards the chest. And then go ahead, float the feet to the sky and reach the hands to the sky. Option to roll the wrists a few times, option to roll the ankles a couple of times. And this is quite a down-regulating pose in, its, in, its, in itself. So feel free to stay here and let the blood come down into the hips, into the arms. If you like to bend the knees, catch the feet, happy baby, go for it. And then any final movements here, you know, to feel what would allow you to feel complete in the practice if there's any final adjustments or movements that you need. And we're gonna finish the practice today in the resting pose, Shavasana. So as you're ready to come down, just let the body come down to find rest. Take a moment here as you lay back just to experience rest, you know, feel the body rest. And the more the physical body relaxes here, notice the quality of calm. You know, this no urgency. less effort and 
you know, may we carry this quality through the, the day, you know, this calm, gentle quality in, in our interactions with ourselves, in our interactions with others, even when we're, when we're met with some kind of challenge. This becomes this practice. Please feel free to stay here. You could rest as long as you like. If you'd like to breathe a little deeper at this point, or perhaps even invite some gentle movement back to, to let the body come back into its waking state. If you'd like to stay on the back, please stay. If you'd like to bend the knees, just take a moment to rest on the side body. And then we'll all finish practice together. If you come in a close in the sitting posture, so please make your way up into a seat. We'll bring the hands into the heart, palms touch. We'll seal the practice today with the sound of a long extended breath out. And take a moment just to be in the stillness of the pause as the breath leaves the body. Let's take a full breath in. A full breath out. Namaste.